Welcome to the uh, Sandbox 2 AI video tutorials by me, McGinge. In uh, this tutorial we're going to cover smart objects and how you can uh, use an example of them in uh, setting up AI in your level. So basically I've drawn a, I've made a kind of a channel here for the uh, just to demonstrate this on my little map. Um, what we need to get to do, what we get the AI to do is jump over the fence. What we need to start off doing is getting AI forbidden area, and to draw that round the fences uh, in the channel. So we're just going to draw this round. Make sure a um, snap to objects and terrain uh, is on, like I like I just did earlier. Otherwise, your points are going to end up in the ground or in the sky. Just finish this off. Okay. Uh, next we're going to add the AI that's going to be doing the jumping. So, Archetype Entity. I've chosen Asian New than anything really. Flag Camp and heavy SMG I've taken here. Just get that to load. Okay, we're going to put them in about the middle. Make sure that snapped objects is on still. And uh, we're also going to make somewhere for him to go. So AI and tag point. And place the tag point on the other side of the fence. Right, so now we need to actually make the smart object, uh, which we get him to jump. So you go to AI Smart Object, uh, just put it anywhere. Then you can't actually see this, but you can go Smart Object Class, and then you get Browse, and you go to Jumping, and tick the Jump 1 meter 20 box, and click OK. Now you should see this uh, new helper uh, turn up. This basically shows you what's going to happen. So the red means that the AI won't jump and that smart object won't be used. But the green ones mean that it will. So you want to make sure they're all green like that. And then we'll place it over the middle of the fence. Let's get the AI to jump over the fence. Place that around the middle. Like that. We just need to make a flow graph to get the AI to go. So we're going to create flow graph and we're going to go to call it tutorial smart object. We need to add some node. So we're going to add node miscellaneous start. Add node AI go to speed starts and add node entity entity pause. We're going to click on the AI, right click on go to speed starts and assign selected entity. Link output to sync. Uh, select the tag point. Right click on the entity pause, assign selected entity, then link the position to the position of the speed starts node. And preset the run speed to 3 and the stance just for kicks to combat. And the one last thing we need to do is generate navigation. Uh, this will just tell you know, register with the engine that the forbidden areas are working now so the AI won't run into walls and stuff like that. Okay so all we need to do now is uh, make these make this thing this guy run. So click AI physics and here he goes. They got varying animations for this so he fell over on that time. Uh, you know, you can also change the height at which the smart object goes. Um, like that. Let's try again. You'll probably do a different animation this time. There we go. Then you just folded it that time. So there you have it. Uh, smart objects in your level. 